international model, mother, and all-around fashion icon. I get to sit down with one of Malaysia's most loved celebrities, Amber Chow, as she shares on life, love, dreams, and fashion. Three outfits of your choice and why. I'm a mother, I'm a principal of Amber Chow Academy, and I'm a model. So uh, I would say that when doing my mother job, you know, I would just wear something really casual, like a white top and simple jeans. And when back to academy, of course, I have to put on something more corporate. And when I go for events, it really depends what kind of events. So I can be very glamorous, very uh, fashionable. So uh, it depends which character I'm playing and also what I'm doing. Being an international model yourself, you've worked with countless designers, and you've worn countless outfits by different designers all over the world. Um, what do you think about the growing fashion industry here in Malaysia? In Malaysia, compared with 16 years ago, of course, you know, I mean, improved a lot, and also we are getting more and more, you know, uh, models in uh, this industry. Like the photo at the back of me, that all our, our students find that all our winners from Amateur Academy, and um, also he um, has been improved, you know, compared with many years ago. Um, and I hope, you know, in the future, you know, I believe there is still a lot of space for Malaysian fashion industry to improve. And we're here at Thor Academy, the Amber Chow Modeling Academy. Mm -hmm. Can you share what inspired you to open your own school mm -hmm. to teach other girls you know, who want to be models that they can? Okay, there's a long story. Back to six years ago, I remember that when I just moved to KL. And uh, when I was pretty young, like seven, eight years old, I always dreamed, you know, one day I can be in Found Amazing, can be appeared on. TV and I can step into this modeling industry. But when I just moved to KL and during 16 years ago, the time there is no modeling academy, so I had to uh, go for a lot of casting, of course, you know, I don't know where to go and what to do. And back to 2009, I remember that I organized a model search, it's called Malaysia for Supermodel of the World. And um, at the time, actually, I realized that I realized that there's a lot of uh, uh, people like me. Like what I used to be, you know, they don't know what to do. That's why every try to make start is not only a morning school and also a grooming school. Mm -hmm. um, because I believe, you know, when you look good, you feel good, and you, when you feel good and you look good, you feel good, and you know, you, you will build your confidence and you will be a different thing. Right now, what you want to be is to get your mirror so you can look at it every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I do. Yeah. <laughs> I take a lot of fun. Uh, I remember before I just started my morning career, I took a lot of photos. Oh, okay. in front of my house, in front of my bed, you know, I wish one day I could be like that. And I look at them, I try to, you know, do what they do, yeah. and I suppose. That's how I learn and how I improve. And, you know, how was your role model growing up then? When I start, I already start my morning career, uh, Lin Tan is one of, is the first Malaysian model who went to New York and doing very well in New York. And uh, she was my role model. I can start moving in drunk and drop a lot of competition. Beauty page and yeah. model search. Honestly, a lot of people didn't know that I didn't get any title, and I some of the contests I don't even get into the top ten in Malaysia in the in the Malaysia beauty page and competition. I got some sassy title before, you know, and uh, I tried like more than fifteens or twenties contest, but uh, I never win as a winner. Slow determination. <laughs> but uh, that's why when I joined the guest tennis beauty in 2003 and uh, a lot of people told me that you don't even can win in Malaysia. You dare to join the international one. <laughs> yeah. But I just think that I don't, I don't care, I just want to get experience and I want to try, you know. And you know, I, I'm, I think the time 2003 I proved to everyone that a lot of things is never try, never know. Nothing is impossible. I won in 63 countries as a winner and Malaysia bowler. And, uh, and what I want to say that is sometimes it's not that bad. It's, there was my big turning point in my life. And also, I proved to everyone that you know you just have to try. Right? Who say I, can, I can't? Right? You know, I make it. Right? Exactly. Well, congratulations and look where you are today. Yeah, You're exactly. like one years. of the biggest supermodels in Malaysia and Asia. So oh, I just want to thank you. Sorry, I think we have so much to share. But yeah, we have too much to share. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one I want to say to the crowds that like, if you really have a dream, yeah. and uh, I hope you know you guys will just do it and just let me you know 
just try and do it. Yeah. Even though I failed for the last 15 times, that was a great experience for me to win the international. Yeah. So, you know, um, modeling and entertainment industry is always the younger the better. Yeah. So, of course, if you want to know more about the academy or more about how to get started, actually, I wish MHI Academy can help you for that. If you want to know more information, you can just look into www.mhiacademy.com and you know, uh, I hope your dream just like me will come true. And uh, remember, nothing is impossible. And thank you, Samantha. Thank you so much for your time.